Hello everyone, I'm Peter from bioversion.com and I'm here tonight to talk about this masticating juicer we obtained about five years ago and um, I realized that uh, they just made uh, and released a new model so I thought maybe uh, it would be a good idea to to share my experience uh, with juicing using this this older model which lasted good five years and is still going strong so let me just quickly tell you how easy it is to actually put it all together I'll disassemble it here in front of you doesn't have as many pieces is all you can see it has that body uh, then we have these some people call it corkscrew some people call it tracked maybe it's because uh, it's, it's green um, I like to call it just a screw yeah it's quite easy to clean there is a nice brush provided which uh, which works perfectly fine the main thing you need to remember is that you have to clean it as soon as you finish using it because otherwise the pulp can get um, dry here in, the, in, in this strainer and then it's really really hard to get, uh, get rid of okay. the product has uh, several nozzles actually this is the one for juicing but you can also use it for um, making pasta even I never use those because as I said it's, this was only used for juicing but if you're into something like, like that or making butters here are all the nozzles uh, you can use I really can't comment on that um, okay so uh, the main difference between this and the other products uh, which are on the market um, is its, uh, its RPM uh, it actually has about 20% of a higher um, um, RPM than, than the other brands um, which I actually like about this juicer and I'll tell you why uh, the main reason why I like it is that uh, it produces the pulp which is not completely dry, bone dry and I like to use this pulp for, uh, for cakes, for example a carrot cake or an apple cake and uh, it works amazing. I don't think I would be able to, to, to use a pulp for um, let's say from Omega you know, masticating juicer uh, which, which leaves yeah which probably maybe juices more extracts about 20% more of the of the of the juice from, from your fruit or veg but then you know as I said you know you can't do pretty much anything with that pulp and and I think the fiber is quite important thing to to, to ingest, I don't like to throw it to the bin because I, I see it as a waste. So, um, well, what else? Uh, we have this kind of uh, a plunger or, uh, or a pusher uh, here uh, included in the price and uh, it comes quite handy. You'll see uh, uh, that the, even though the juicer is doing a quite a good job of taking uh, the fruits and veg uh, by itself, sometimes you really need to, to help it a little bit and um, I think why don't we why don't we give it a go then it has two speeds one is uh, normal speed and the other one is reverse and talking of uh, of the speeds there is a, a button on the top like um, most of the uh, juicers have but the big difference is that this one has a, a cover which can slide on the top of the of the, of the top, top of the buttons and prevent actually your wet fingers or um, you know water from your greens which you just washed to get into the button and that minimize the risk of uh, of electrocuting yourself which I found this um, being a really great plus no no other other masticating juicer has this uh, this cover um, which can also be used if you slide on the top of here, on top of the, the, the juicer, as, as like a like a dust cover or protection. Okay, so uh, let's switch it on. It's not 
very noisy as you can hear. This piece of apple is slightly bigger, so I'm happy with this plunger. Also, what I like about this juicer is that it has uh, a space where you can wrap the power core around at the bottom of the juicer. And then your kitchen looks nice and tidy. You like it in this household. So as you can see, the pulp is coming out straight away. It's reasonably dry. I would eat it on its own. Uh, but if you put a little bit of juice from uh, the other container in it, you can uh, actually prepare a really nice um, food for babies, you know, especially from carrots and the apples. You know, put a little bit of the lemon in it and honey to sweeten it if it's not sweet enough. And it's, it's really nice and really tasty. There we go, we have an apple, carrot, so let's see if it's gonna deal with, with greens. It's very popular these days to, to juice greens, and I'll tell you, no other juicer uh, will extract as much juice from your greens than the masticated juicer. Yep. You can hear it chewing. The greens. We've got some uh, kale and there's some parsley as well. And we've also got some celery sticks. Some of these green leafy vegetables to your diet contain chlorophyll and also a lot of other nutrients. And most importantly, uh, they don't have as much sugar in it uh, as uh, the fruits have. And uh, as we know, sugar is something that we want to minimize, even though we are on a, on a healthy diet, or even if we are on a healthy diet, we don't want these spikes in our uh, uh, insulin levels. I'm gonna keep it nice and steady and the green leaf vegetables are just gonna do that for us. I like to hold it with my other hand just because you know I'm applying a fairly bit of a pressure on the on the juicer now. I don't wanna break it help myself with a bit of a carrot so that was just the trick and as I said you have a reverse button there just in case something gets gets stuck you can still use it but just as I said watch so your fingers are not bad See. Careful so we don't make much mess. It's a beautiful color. It's not that much foam in it um, compared to the other type of a juicer, which is called centrifugal juicer. You rotate at a really, really high speed and introduce a lot of air, meaning they oxidize the juice and this is definitely not good so this has a bit of a bubbles on the top but nothing nothing major nothing you can't deal with and if you are drinking straight away then I think it's as good as it gets let's taste it mm. that's amazing thank you very much for being with us 
and I'll see you soon. Please subscribe down there if you like the video and I wish you to have a, uh, a happy and healthy life.